Well, this week in Lord Football is coming a little bit early at you. It's coming a little bit early on this Monday afternoon um, before the what San Diego Massachusetts game tonight because uh, we have some spicy, spicy stuff coming out the woodwork. You know, after Tucson beat Arizona, you know, you had Jacksonville lose again in a close game. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, been a, it's been a crazy weekend, and you had a bunch of blowouts, you know, as well. Um, and then you had, like, Sioux City keep it close, you know, or rather Wyoming kept it close with Sioux City, but Sioux City still won the game and clinched a playoff berth in the CIF anyway. Um, remember top six teams making in the CIF? I thought that was top four, but it's top six, actually, from their press release way, way back in the day, or rather way, way back a few months ago. Uh, but that that's neither here nor there. Um, the North Texas Bulls, they scheduled the Dallas Prime, and they lost by 20 points. That's hilarious. That's really that's really funny. <laughs> you scheduled the Dallas Prime, the same team that beat up on Wyoming, or they beat Wyoming by you know it was a close game. But not only did you lose, you lost by 20 plus. That's pretty sad right there. So and the Bulls still have a you know yucky looking turf. It still looks kind of yucky. You know, just kind of looks like it's uneven and whatnot, and just not well kept. But it is what it is, and the Dallas Prime, y'all, y'all continue to do what y'all do. Uh, hopefully, this means something for this team in the future because they keep beating up on CIF or a lower level teams, and that that means a lot in the future. That means a lot. Uh, what we can finally confirm is Wichita had inflatable walls. I called it. I said it. I called it. It found there were multiple pics of the ice rink that they were in you know the, what the Wichita Ice Center or whatever it's called I forgot and it was just bad the turf was you know not up the par the walls were inflatable I mean you, it's like the ice rink part was still on you know on the sides you know I did not find I did not find these pictures like a lot of people were coming Although several people were coming to me about these pictures that, you know, I happened to, you know, just share that I, that I happened to share. And these pictures just, just looked, you know, like the turf, you know, was coming up and stuff like that. And, and I mean, you know, you have like the, like, it's so weird to have a ice rink, you know, just like, like the actual ice rink part, you know, not even, not even like, you know, like dashboards or anything on the sides or anything it's just like the whole ice rink part like it's a hockey like it's a hockey rink out there you know it's still up and there was also like concerns about water under the field as well I believe or ice and that's also why the turf was bad so I mean it's, it's just it's just bad all around and it, it shouldn't have even happened and I knew and I, I kind of figured which die would do something like this I kind of figured like this organization has gone completely downhill ever since you know the last couple of years you know just a terrible terrible turn of events before the pandemic I mean the Tri-C Rush they're still undefeated they'll play the Oregon Outlaws I believe they're like a semi pro team somewhere out there in the west coast May 14th also on May 15th that's a Sunday so you know we come back to you next Sunday the Kentucky on a curse they'll be taking on the West Michigan Ironman now that had been confirmed for days but uh, a lot of us didn't find out to the day apparently I mean I didn't I didn't know this till the day um, Rapid City the Marshalls have been sold from pick six entertainment to the Wyoming chief operating officer, so the Wyoming Mustangs now have a stronghold on more teams in the CIF. We'll see how this goes on the Marshals. A lot of people have been saying, you know, the Marshals are the worst team in the league, actually, and not, you know, like Topeka. But it is what it is. And then the big one the United Bowl will no longer be known as the United Bowl. It will be the IFL National Championship. And it will be held in Vegas. That's right. At the Dollar Loan Center for the next three seasons. Confirmed to be August the 13th. 
that is what the IFL championship will be. It's it's a it's a shame that you know the things that have been you know unique. It, I can see why because arena availability and stuff you know this late into the year like that you know like August you know really should like the IFL shouldn't be playing in August like it's so weird that the IFL is actually playing a championship in August but uh you know the press conference is supposed to be in about 30 minutes or so by the time you see this and uh it, it's so weird to see that a championship you know in the arena indoor game is back in Vegas because we've had a couple of arena bowls back in Vegas and I don't know how those did because I don't remember watching those games back in the day but what I do know is that will this be a good idea who knows I, I genuinely don't know but we'll, fi we'll, fi we'll find out we'll find out soon if it is a good idea in any case that's it um, I'll see you all tonight in the YouTube chats and take care